Okay, here's a little more advanced version, but we're going to see if he can do this first normal left to right, top to bottom like you would read a book. Okay, go ahead and start on the top. We'll follow along with him. I'm doing it. No, you just tell me if it's left, up, right. Left, up, right, left, up, down, left, up, right, down, left, up, down, left, right. So this is perfect. So you want to be able to follow along with them. So you want to make sure you're paying attention because their eyes may become fatigued or they're skipping too fast, too forward. We want them to make sure that they're present and focused. So that's what we want to see. So now we know that we're going to be able to work through this and get that more fluid. But for demonstration purposes, we're going to go to the opposite direction. So I want his brain to start processing things a little differently. So I want you to read it like you would, left to right, but tell me the opposite direction that it's pointing. <laughs> Do I start at the bottom? Uh, start at the top left. Right, down, left, right, down, up, right, down, left, up. Perfect. That's good. So for demonstration purposes, again, for time, we won't go through it, but that's what I want you be, to be able to observe is it may be slower at first, but that's okay. We want to make sure that we're working through it and they understand the instructions. And you can get more creative with that. You can put the metronome in the background, more distraction, uh, start from the bottom up, change the direction of the paper. So if they start getting used to a certain sequence, change it up. So go ahead and utilize the document that I've put in this activity uh, for, this act for the directional arrows, but have fun with it and uh, good luck.